Hi, this is your presenter Muhammad Sadiq and in this video clip you will see how a fourth line app works on smart devices. In this uh, lovely background snap, which uh, in fact is taken by me, like in this uh, row of trees uh, behind is the NTR's native place Niamhpur and beside that village is my village in Ivanpuri. Before I continue my presentation on this fourth line app, uh, let me tell you the background like why I created this uh, clip. Like last uh, week uh, my daughter she came uh, from her uh, Chaitanya college and she was uh, nervous and uh, filled with uh, tears and told me like uh, a motorcycle uh, following her. So immediately as soon as I heard uh, that uh, some following and motorcycle followed her these words I went out and uh, like I saw the back of uh, the motorcycle and it fled actually by the time actually in fact I can see uh, everything the motorcycle fled from my side so I came back and to encourage uh, her I told her to follow or do the same way the way she did like today and I, and I told her like I will be following her from behind and follow her vehicle from behind and uh, like you know she take uh, she it all started from uh, like uh, Inadu where actually she bought uh, that vehicle and from that place till Times Hospital where we stay uh, I kept following her and uh, fortunately uh, nothing happened so then I, I told myself like what is uh, uh, what is uh, the immediate action or any any citizen can take so what I, I look into uh, some few sites and found uh, one zero zero hundred that's the police number uh, that's the foremost action that any visual warden citizen can do for any utilizing any wrong practices ragging or any wrong practices that's the first number they should uh, dial and uh, uh, complain or report then as a progress, uh, as I search further, then I came across uh, a fourth LAN. Definitely this fourth LAN will not be of any use to uh, college students uh, or school because uh, the school or college uh, requirement uh, or instruction is uh, they should not carry uh, phones. So such a device I don't uh, feel like, uh, like you know, it can be any use uh, any applicability or its use in these areas other than the exceptional cases. Now we will see how this app is installed, what is the minimal requirement, how it is going to benefit, what are the drawbacks, how it, this application can be more realistic. So in, in fact this app was launched in June by our Honorable uh, Chief Minister Naidu, Chandra Babu Naidu, uh, for the safety and security of our Vijayawadan citizens. So definitely it is a good foundation laid by our government. So as uh, I'm sure as uh, it progresses, uh, it will be more realistic and it will definitely in the long run helpful to the citizen who use smart devices. So basically, uh, minimal requirements uh, needed to run the application, the fourth line app, you need to have a Google account. Okay, it's a Gmail account. And definitely a smartphone. And you should be accessing uh, Google App Store so these are the like uh, minimal requirement by which uh, you can access uh, fourth layer. So the first thing what you should be uh, doing is uh, once you launch uh, Google, you can just type a fourth line app and you will see uh, a list of uh, web search. The first one is the Android app, it's a Google uh, Play Store. Once you click that one, this is the screen that you will see this is the page you will uh, you will actually see 
it says uh, install rather than install because I already clicked that one so that is why it is showing installed so let me click uh, this button again I hope my net is working okay uh, see in case uh, you are not uh, like logged in and you don't uh, have access to your uh, app store Google App Store it will throw a lot of messages so it's better you must have a Google account and then uh, you are accessing uh, from that smartphone Google Play App Store so that way you can you will see your device detail and all this uh, like uh, commitments which in this app will be accessing once it is installed so once you click this install remember if you don't have a smartphone and Google account you will get a lot of messages see once you click here install you will get a lot of messages saying that you need to log on to your gmail account and then accessing your app store and all those things will come appear so as I logged in I also have access to my Google Play so that's why once I click install it is taking me directly to install button see once you click install it will start uh, installing this application on your smart device so I have like Samsung so it basically it will install on that device once that app is installed I will zoom this area let us see this is how the application will appear on your device you go to the next one see this is how it will appear basically the fourth line it it includes a lot of uh, small modules I can say small applications but the fourth line actually is this red one SOS okay that's that's the main uh, main one and I'll take you to the definition actually in fact the definition is see this is their their home page fourth line home page save our souls that is the one actually SOS means save our soul save our souls so it is basically applicability for the video world and citizens and like as I said it it includes a lot of small applications uh, but the fourth head basically is SOS this is the main one see any point of time like the citizens are in a, in a trouble like uh, there is a threat to their life what they can do is they can press uh, the app person can press this button I'll show you what exactly happens uh, but that is the main fourth head the rest of uh, these are the like you know the features which is provided by fourth land it says you have any suggestions or complaints to improve this site track my travel if you're traveling traveling somewhere I mean these all these are the small applications uh, any e channels you got penalty or anything that you can just go through it you can look in your FIR case status public transport complaint you have any you can just click and complain yes page will launch see all this to make it more effective SOS profile for this to work you need to fill entire details about your complete profile your name date of birth phone everything so that way like as we have seen earlier there are certain things that uh, not certain the maximum things you know this uh, fourth line will access or hold your mobile get hold of your mobile and access most of the things so all these are like you know vacation for wholesale rates or whatever, whatever the like, grocery rates uh, or whatever like you know uh, like the vegetables everything all the rates will be appear the wholesale that is presently in the market your timings bus train public information see all these are the features that is that provided by the fourth line but the main fourth line head is SOS if you look further see like track my travel you have to fill all those details mode of travel whether by bus train flight blah 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 all these things you have to fill it if you are like you know you want to track your your uh, like uh, journey Similarly, until these details are not filled, it will not be effective. Public transport complaints, uh, you have to fill, uh, like uh, if you are filing a complaint, you need to fill all the details. 
for the police to take uh, action against uh, the black sheep in our company com community similarly vocation information see as much as you know the information is fed and given it is more effective and and it is more like you know uh, realistic once the app is completely installed these are the the features that uh, that fortland app provides along with uh, the main feature which is uh, sos and there are certain like security level that uh, that device uh, that especially this uh, app will be accessed by uh, by the government which is police see all the permissions are included uh, over here if you look into one by one see the lot of all all those uh, uh, like uh, security things that uh, on the phone which can be accessed uh, by the application monitoring agencies further to this actually uh, i have like uh, gone through especially this uh, uploaded youtube and based on the uh, this U youtube like uh, i have like i am an analytic person i did certain assumption and based on those assumptions like uh, i have prepared this uh, uh, youtube like uh, the most important thing for this app to work is between uh, this fourth line and the the police is the timing so that is the the major factor which matters uh, sos uh, to work so based on that actually i have defined a flow you can see like a fourth head mission is the safety and security of the citizens so it's like a video one on map and how exactly that sos work that is what uh, like i have shown here in this above line so these two are the lines uh, which you will see the below is the realistic one and the above is the manual which currently i feel like this is how uh, it works when i say this is how it works uh, it is based on this youtube uh, uh, clip actually i have like uh, laid this whole architecture as you can see let's say a person is uh, pressing is in danger and he press uh, like let's say it's near patamata okay and a person he his life is in threat and he press that sos that is the zoom area actually the button is pressed and the signal reaches uh, to the headquarter and it's based on the assumption like uh, as uh, what i have seen in the, in the earlier video youtube uh, video clip the callers this callers uh, geo positioning is uh, this is like a manual check once it is alerted the police in the, it's maybe in headquarter uh, maybe it anywhere anywhere else it can be anywhere else actually so what happens actually it's a more manual process that is what i have analyzed once the callers basically the callers geo positioning is uh, traced to find out where exactly that uh, person is uh, is located then the figure out the nearest uh, uh, patrolling team the police patrolling team usually the headquarter people they print the overall analysis then they call the patrolling team with the details to action and that is notified this is basically a notifying action team with the sole details because the person's details are given to them and that way they they reach to the location see as i told uh, as i mentioned like earlier it's basically the timing is the important factor here so in this whole process see this whole process in my view it is uh, like a, a more manual process 
so in fact whatever this manual uh, actions taking place uh, this whole thing should be kept in a, uh, should be like a, should be in a, should be automated and what the police doing here the manual action they should be following on what the result the system has uh, system will be giving to the police and they should be following with the uh, the nearest uh, team nearest uh, police uh, team so that way one thing the automatic process it all this thing should be in the system so that way uh, alert should be notifying to the nearest area or nearest uh, like i said patamata the whoever is patrolling here they should be alerted by the system and the police headquarter based on what results the system automatically uh, resulted based on that they should be making a follow up with the team which is on the field which is doing the patrol so that way it's like not one or two one one year or two years like a, a continuous process where the improvisation improvement can take place and it can be more realistic in a, in a long run definitely there are some definitely there are a lot of factors uh, that affect uh, some of them which i have uh, included is like a traffic on road untrained uh, police driver like improper vehicle untimely information provided by hq headquarter citizens not smart because this this is like a very critical portion actually even the citizens they need to be like a smart like you know the like most of the cities and uh, you know we are like government is working on to make smart cities see if citizens are not smart definitely it is useless making cities smart this factor is very crucial actually if we don't follow the regulation if we don't follow the traffic regulation see this all this will have impact on such a you know automated uh, systems improper infrastructure like you know especially in the developed nations so you will find in, in on a, on either side of the roads you know there are some some gap left basically it is uh, uh, helpful for emergency vehicles even for the uh, for the police you know see this this kind of uh, infrastructures uh, play a major role well this is all about uh, fourth line which i had done some analysis being a like person and being a it specialist and if you also look uh, if you want to mo know more details you can go to the fourth line home page you will see all the features SOS and all its details suggestion view more if you just click you will know how to make use of it see this is the home page of the fourth line see it is like uh, everybody's uh, contribution actually it is not like uh, one day everything is like 100% it is like long run good that uh, the government has laid the foundation and as it uh, progresses uh, the improvisation will definitely will uh, take place Thank you for watching this uh, video. Goodbye.